To reach a goal, you must first start walking. And as Balzac said, we can't tell you how long it takes to reach your goal, but we do know what you can achieve with just one hour of walking a day. A major problem facing humanity today is lack of physical activity. According to numerous studies, a sedentary lifestyle is a cause of breast and colon cancer. It leads to diabetes in 27% of cases and coronary heart disease in 30% of cases. Additionally, a sedentary lifestyle increases the risk of premature death by 60%. Some people intuitively turn to walking, while others need proof that this activity is effective. Researchers from the University of Cambridge have found that just one hour of brisk walking a day can significantly reduce or even eliminate the risk of most diseases associated with a sedentary lifestyle. This hour can be broken up into several short walks. This does not diminish the beneficial effects of walking in any way. Now let's break down what one hour of walking a day will do and explain why each effect occurs. The best way to lose weight. Rapid weight loss is always stressful for the body. Walking, on the other hand, is a natural and healthy way to get rid of extra pounds. Moreover, one hour of walking, even at a brisk pace, does not significantly increase levels of the hunger hormone ghrelin, so you won't feel as hungry after walking as you would after an hour of running or intense gym workouts. How much you lose in an hour of walking depends on your weight and walking speed. This table will allow you to calculate calories by selecting the optimal walking speed. For millions of people, the reason for being overweight lies not only in lack of physical activity, but also in excessive consumption of sweets. A study by Austrian scientists from the University of Innsbruck found that walking significantly reduces cravings for sweets. At the same time, after walking, people tend to consume fats and proteins in larger quantities. Therefore, it's important for anyone wanting to lose weight through walking to avoid overeating. In a lifetime, a person walks an average of 200,000 kilometers. This distance is equivalent to five times around the Earth's equator. Improving blood circulation and cellular nutrition. Humans are made for movement. To maintain normal circulation, we need to be active every day. Poor circulation leads to inadequate nourishment of cells and tissues so it is directly or indirectly linked to most known diseases. Among the obvious signs of poor circulation are decreased energy and chronic fatigue syndrome, impaired memory and concentration, hair loss, erectile dysfunction in men, weakened immunity due to poor circulation of immune cells. Vascular and heart health is not possible without physical activity. And here's why. The inner layer of blood vessels, the endothelium, releases nitric oxide. Our heart is permeated with blood vessels and its chambers are lined from the inside with this same endothelium. This substance performs two important protective functions. It prevents inflammation of the vessel wall, which is always the starting point for atherosclerotic plaque formation. It relaxes the muscular layer of blood vessels, allowing them to dilate. And to produce sufficient nitric oxide in the blood vessels, we need to stimulate blood flow. Accordingly, people who walk every day produce nitric oxide normally, regardless of age. Scientists from the University of Colorado, USA, found in a study that in just three months of regular walking, people with impaired vascular endothelial function fully restore their nitric oxide production. Prevention of thrombosis. With insufficient physical activity, especially in older people, there is an inevitable increased risk of thrombosis, which can lead to kidney failure, as well as pulmonary embolism, which can damage the lungs, heart, and other organs. During walking, the rate of fibrinolysis, the process of naturally dissolving blood clots, increases significantly in the blood. Moreover, fibrinolysis increases in proportion to the duration and pace of walking, so to prevent thrombosis, doctors recommend walking at a moderate to brisk pace for at least an hour a day. Blood fibrinolytic activity continues for another hour after the walk. Muscle strengthening. While walking, we engage various muscle groups. However, it's important to remember that only with regular daily walking do our muscles accumulate training effects, get stronger, and work more efficiently. By consuming the same amount of oxygen, they produce more energy, 
so walking makes us more resilient and increases physical strength. Many people think that walking is just for the elderly, but this is far from the truth. Even professional athletes practice walking as cross-training, for recovery, or as an additional form of exercise. It's also quite a powerful workout for our lower legs, specifically the calf and soleus muscles. They provide significant help to our heart, thanks to the muscle venous pump mechanism. While walking, the lower leg muscles work like pumps. As they contract, they compress the deep veins of the legs, thereby helping venous blood to overcome gravity and return to the heart. At the same time, venous valves prevent blood from flowing backwards. The stronger the shin muscles are, the more help they give to our heart. It's important to remember that lack of exercise for the lower leg muscles leads to blood stasis in the legs and the formation of clots that cause deep vein thrombosis. The characteristic symptoms of this disease are swelling and pain in the legs. Healthy leg joints. Walking, unlike running, does not put shock loads on the joints. It stimulates the movement of synovial fluid in the joint cavity, which improves the nutrition and repair of cartilage tissue. It's important for people with developing osteoarthritis to remember that a joint only lives when it functions. Daily walking will significantly slow down the progression of this unpleasant disease. In addition, muscle and ligament tone is very important for the joints in your legs. Lack of leg exercise leads to an imbalance in the muscular system. The flexors become hypertonic while the extensors relax, causing a person's knees to buckle, which overloads the joint. Salvation from Diabetes Studies show that people who walk to work are 40% less likely to develop diabetes compared to those who use motorized transportation. To prevent type 2 diabetes, experts recommend walking for at least 60 minutes a day. For optimal blood sugar regulation, it's best to split the hour-long walk into three or four short walks of 15 to 20 minutes. Walking is recommended after meals. Normalizing blood pressure. Chronically high blood pressure is dangerous for the heart and kidneys. To lower blood pressure, doctors recommend engaging in physical activity and combating excess weight. Walking excellently addresses both of these issues. Korean scientists found that for people with above normal blood pressure, just 40 minutes of walking at a speed of 5 to 6 kilometers per hour lowered this indicator by 5 points. And with regular walking, this result becomes permanent. Experts at the Providence Heart and Vascular Institute recommend practicing walking for at least one hour a day to achieve a sustained 10-point drop in blood pressure. According to the World Health Organization, 3.2 million people die annually due to physical inactivity. Psychotherapeutic Effects of Walking a daily hour-long walk has amazing psychotherapeutic effects. Namely, it improves sleep quality, reduces stress and anxiety, relieves mental and emotional tension, improves mood, and even self-esteem. Walking, no less effective than other types of physical activity, combats depression, distracts from intrusive thoughts, gives a sense of control over the situation, and importantly, increases the level of serotonin in the blood, which is also called the happiness hormone. Improvement of memory and cognitive functions. Daily walking improves brain activity, memory, attention, and information processing speed, as well as reduces the risk of dementia. Strengthening the immune system. By practicing daily walking for an hour a day, you'll be doing your immune system a great favor. And here's why. The immune response to invading infections largely depends on the metabolic rate. Walking at a moderate to brisk pace accelerates metabolism and blood circulation. This ensures efficient delivery of immune cells to any area of the body. Studies show that walking, running, or cycling significantly reduces the risk of bacterial and viral infectious diseases. This content is for informational and educational purposes only. Consult with a doctor or healthcare professional before following any recommendations provided in this video. Tell us about your experience in the comments and subscribe to our channel.